Okay, today's video is on the art of faking. Okay, um, got a great story about faking. And this is a true story. In 1998, uh, I took second in the North Central Conference, right? I had won the conference as a freshman and as a sophomore, I was rated, uh, I think second in the country. And I lost to George Thompson in the conference finals my junior year, okay, Division II, NCAA. And after the tournament, we went home and I went to a teammate's house and he had a videotape sitting right on his, uh, near his TV, near the VCR, okay? And uh, it said Pat Smith on it. And I'm like, just sitting around in your house and nobody's watching this. Like, hey, can I borrow this tape? I said, borrow. Can I borrow this tape? Yeah, take it. He wasn't gonna watch it. I took the tape home and watched it. And I, literally in two minutes, I solved my problem. And I was faking, but I was going kind of like this. I'm kind of like doing a hand fake, okay? And Pat Smith taught in the video, and stuff I had all seen before, the low single and stuff like that, but he talked about his fake, okay? And with his fake, how he was going to take a step and put his hand down on the mat. So you take your chest and you let your chest right over your lead leg, and you put that hand down for balance. I put that in, and in the 10 days between the nationals, or between the conference tournament and the nationals, I feel like I got a significant amount better just from that fake, okay? And I went from here faking to, to doing this and snapping and bouncing my chest off my lead leg, and my opponents were literally sprawling off the mat away from me, okay? I was getting way better reactions. And then that, that opened up the holes. I was able to get in cleaner on my shots, okay? So here's the fake, okay? Is It's all about your body position. If your legs are here, and you're in the square stance, and you're motioning, and you're moving on the mat, okay? When you get ready to shoot, and we're getting ready to fake, your legs have to be swishing. You need to be in this strong attack stance position. So that means chest over knee, my knee is out over my toe, and my back foot is cocked in the mat. Okay, this 45 degree angle allows me to drive a lot harder with my trolley. Okay, at different points in the shot, you drive with different parts of your body. So sometimes I'll fire with the front leg, sometimes I fire with the trolley. On this fake, it's a step and a fire. So I'm gonna go here. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Now, a lot of times, you know, we end up with our toe a little bit in front of your knee, which is a no no, but really it's fine, especially if you have great head position. Okay, it's there's so much eccentric uh, breaking that you need to do to take all this mass and velocity and stop, and stop, okay? And you, so you need a lot of isometric contraction um, and your legs gotta be in great shape. So, you take a fake up here, you're moving, and you fake, you fake, and you fake, and you wanna snap, okay? Um, in college, I would throw my hands a lot. Okay, so I'm here, same motion, but now I'm just with my hands, okay? And I would do what I, I call a test fake, a test fake. So I fake, and if you don't react, I'm going. I'm going. And you gotta have the quick twitch to really get there. So if I go like this, boom, and I don't feel you go, boom, next time I'm gonna shoot. Next time I want to shoot. Okay, I'll give you some examples of that. Okay. Your emotions a big part of it. Getting them to come to you. Getting them to react. So as I'm moving in my stance, and I break down, and I start moving, I'm faking. I'm working my hands, okay? And then I might throw in, I might throw in a deep fake. <laughs> Keep your head up, my hand's here. As I reach out, my hand can come back, okay? A lot of times we'll put in your hand sprawls right out of after that because I fake and I get a immediate like lunge back or I get a reaction back or I get a shot where they try to um, just shoot, sometimes out of anxiety. So we end up going fake, down block, okay? Or fake, knee sprawl, and I can create the space and then I can, I can decide if I want to load and take another shot, if I want to circle up, whatever I want to do in that situation.
So there's an art and there's a science to the fake. The, the science part of it is the breaking to me. Controlling your body, being super twitchy with your fakes. Okay, and then I can get that deep fake, I get a reaction. Okay, uh, my good body, my good buddy, Kate Brock does an amazing job with what I call two knee fakes, where he'll fake to the mat, you know, right there. Short, your hands are gonna do a lot of the faking. When they see your hands come, that gets a reaction, that gets them lunging, that gets them tired, that's wearing them out, right? Stuttering your feet, being able to circle and get in and out. The motion becomes such a big part of it because if you can't control your feet well enough to get from here and then get on the retreat and get, get some space and create space going back to square, circling away from your opponent, whether you're, whether you're cornering or whether you're creating space and trying to keep them away from you, you need to be able to move your feet.